Hashtag save TF2 is now a workshop item, lads and ladies. <laughs> the mission was successful, even the workshop has stuff. There's also this unusual effect, community calamity. Hashtag save TF2 in two different colors, red and blue, ain't that something. I love the workshop, I love how fast it adapts, like there's always new stuff in it. Also added this week, like three days ago, is this taunt called slurred sparring. Which, as usual, comes with an awesome SFM. It's got the intro, the loop, where he, he drinks and uses a sword, so it's not like a melee uh, thing. And there's the end. So he always uses this sword and the run bottle. It's not dependent on what melee you use, which I think is cool, you know? And I love me some looping taunts, so awesome new concept for a taunt. As always, all the links to the items are down below in the description. This is the gel up jerk consisting of the hair, the boots and socks, and of course the backpack. I put this in here because I love me some new Team Fortress 2 boots and these, <laughs> these are awesome. Yeah, next up the honey hive, an unusual effect. Effect. As you can see, the spy really just is in love with it. He, he likes it. Not sure if he likes it actually. <laughs> but it's a cool looking effect, don't you think? And if you like the last one, you're gonna love this one. It's, uh, what's it called? Comic Combat. That's an awesome name, man. <laughs> it's just uh, comic effects like the bonk, pow, splat, wham, you know, just flying around your head. They also move with the head rotation, so that's cool as well. And I'm I'm absolutely certain that this would make for some awesome kill cams, where even if you get destroyed by someone wearing this, you probably get a good chuckle out of it with a cool wham kill cam, you know what I mean, yeah. Next up, Smuggler's Stash, a normal cosmetic for Demoman, a Mac Pack cosmetic consisting of a barrel, a flag, and a bottle of rub as per usual. Oh, and also a, a big old rope, which uh, is of course supposed to be a fuse here, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that's it. Also, you can paint it, I just realized, you can make it pink. It only colors the rub. You can have pink rub with that. Next, the fan service, which I believe is a fully animated hat. I'm pretty sure this isn't just for shows. This is actually like good a turn if added into Team Fortress 2. Comes with this awesome SFM where everything's burning behind him. I'm not really sure why. And, and all those Team Fortress 2 fans out there should love it. You know what I mean? Good one, Simon. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I'm sorry. Flipper Agent. One of three items. The full set is here. The full set is called the Submarine Saboteur consisting of the Sneaky Snorkel, the Oliver suit and the flipper agents yeah created by morbius this guy who funnily enough made quite a few items just this week alone look at this my man's been cranking out some stuff anyway next up we got the corporate espionage which is quite unsettling if i might say so especially with the second style where his skin color is like actually the skin tone on a mask i don't i don't know if i like that yeah <laughs> also he looks a little fat which is funny <laughs> Next up, Spirit Blossom. I honestly only put this in here because of the funny heavy, but it is a cool unusual effect. Like, actually, it's not just a meme, you know, it, it actually looks cool. So, yeah, I like this one. Next, the Risk Taker. Paintable. You can, you can have pink, blue, whatever here. Make Scout into a bub. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing. Duma Scout. <laughs> <laughs> the craft beer. This one I would love if it did clip with the teeth. Look at this. It, it kind of clips with the... Does it clip with the teeth? I'm not certain. It kind of... It looks alright, it, but it's... Mm, I don't know if I love it. Yeah, I like it, but I don't know if I love it. <laughs> you could already download it as a bot. Okay, well... Yeah, it's cool. Next, self-explanatory style. Merciless. Pretty sure this is supposed to be German I-85. Don't murder me if it's not, okay? I, I just... Looks like him, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Anyway, this one's in here because I think it looks like a portal from Rick and Morty. Uh, Rick and Morty portal. Except the purple one does not fit that at all, but it's just the first thing I thought of when I saw it. <laughs> Next, Suave Strongman. There is three styles. One of them makes him bald, which is my favorite. I guess this is really about the jawline and not about anything else, but I mainly, I'm, I'm just here for bald demo. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm here for. I just checked 
to make sure that he's usually not bald. He is wearing a cap usually. It does look like he's usually not bald, yeah. So that would be cool to have. Next, my favorite item for today, the hamburger helper or hamburger helper. Lederhosen style. This one. This makes medic fat. It gives him a fat belly, gives him the, the beer belly. Just look at this SFM render, my goodness. I mean, what do you even want me to say here? This is just, this is just perfect. Fat Magic is gonna love it. <laughs> What's the video series called that he did? I, I don't remember, but it was something with a fat medic. Anyway, next up, the Grasshopper Style Fresh. There's three different styles, fresh, love, and not war. And two of those have an actual beard. Finally, a scout beard. I would love to get this into Team Fortress 2. Actually, one of the items that I really want to see just because scout never gets any beards. And this would finally end the scout's beard drive streak and if I'm honest, this actually doesn't look too terrible and too out of character, you know? It looks like he just got lost in the forest for a few weeks without a razor. And also, I I just really like the items it consists of. I'm just a bit, you know, sad that it doesn't come with any boots, but still. Next up, the Transmeter? Tra Transmuter? ST9? A spy backpack cosmetic. Using the famous Jiggly Bones physics of Team Fortress 2, it actually bounces around and it's animated too with the figgy going round in circles to the scatter i think at least because uh, here it doesn't and here it does i don't know looks cool regardless this is one of two remaining items for today turtle the turtle twirler <laughs> it's hard to say for a german like me uh, to turtle fly around your head on any class i'm not completely sure if i like it because uh, it looks a little more like it should be a spaceship, to be honest. Doesn't look like it's underwater. It looks more like it's in space. But still, it's a cool item. And I like, I like turtles. <laughs> <laughs> get it? And last but not least, I know this is not one item, but the Loch Ness Backblast with the Glasgow Cannons. This is not a set, but I think it should be. Just look at these cool ass cannons on, on the on the demo band. Yeah, I don't know if it's too much. It might be too much, but I, I just like it. But just hear me out. Imagine this while using the double dunker. Yeah. J that would be cool, right? Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Those were quite a few items. I kind of rushed through them this time around just because I didn't make a video for uh, almost two weeks now on the workshop. A lot of other stuff was happening and uh, also I'm lazy, so yeah, there was quite a bit of stuff built up. There's also a lot that I didn't even put in here, so check out the workshop yourself, lads and ladies, all the items down in the description. And I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe. Bye. Oh, become a member. Become a member. Give you money. Please, become a member. <laughs> it's the middle of the night again And I am joining a match I'm thinking too much